Welcome. My name is Carlos Ramos, and today I'm going to talk about evangelism. But before I start, I would like to introduce to you this wonderful book, Evangelism, written by Apostle George Cody from Anna Church. To talk about evangelism, it's important for you to know about this. On the contrary to what many people think, it's not the pastor's responsibility to do the work of God by himself. When I say this, I'm not saying that a pastor should not do anything. What I want to say is that many believers go to church only to be mere spectators of a show, like a religious meeting. But the biblical truth about this is very different. A pastor's role is to train the believers in order for them to do the God's work. In Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12, the Bible says, It was God who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, some to be pastors and teachers, and to prepare the God's people for the works of service. As we see here in the Bible, first God calls apostles, pastors, etc. Second, for the purpose of training the saints. But who are the saints? Saints are people who have given their lives to Jesus. And because of that, Jesus has sanctified them by washing away their sins through the reconciling work of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. For the work of the ministry, pastor should teach the believers to do the work of the ministry. It means that a pastor should train the believers to evangelize, make disciples, minister music, intercess, etc. And also, we could compare a local church to a spiritual building, whereby the pastor would be the agent who coordinates the works of the building. But the common mistake is for the pastor to do all the work by himself, or at most with the help of his family, whilst the, the congregation goes to church and simply listens to the message and asks for prayer. This could be compared to a single engineer who schedules meeting with all his workers, brake lines, painters, etc. in the morning. He then sings a few songs with the worker and encourages them with some uplifting words. After that, instead of putting all his workers to work, he sends them home, and he and his family do the construction work. Isn't this an absurd concept? Of course this is. Unfortunately, this is how many churches live. Unfortunately, this is what happened. Unfortunately, this is how many churches live. Even though the pastor and his congregation do pray and ask God for the church to grow. Little or nothing happens and they don't understand why. But the reason for this is very simple. Neither the pastor nor the brothers are doing the job that they are supposed to do. The pastor is the agent who has the job of overseeing the work that is done. And the believer is the, and the believer's job is to work on God's harvest. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, access us on our YouTube channel, Fish Learning. And on Facebook, see you.